Welcome. We'll mute ourselves. You could go ahead and mute yourselves. Liz will start us off with a nigu. We can hardly hear her. Does she have a microphone? was lovely. And for Rosilis Liz, I'm wondering if you would mind doing it again because we could barely hear you. And I know the song because we do it at seminary. And you were audible, but just barely. And I would like to have folks enjoy the benefit of your full voice. Yes, let me fix that just one second. While Liz is taking care of business on that end, uh, what I would like to share is that she and I are classmates at the Academy for Jewish Religion in California. It has been based in West, where is it? I, it's not Westwood, is it Westwood? By UCLA, okay. Uh, and recently a uh, decision was made to move to Loyola Marymount. So we're kind of in process. Uh, Liz, how's the audio going there? How about now, everybody? Shabbat Shalom. So much better. I plugged you into the wrong microphone slot. It's okay. So I'm so sorry. We Let's do that question. again. The words are so easy. It's lie, 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 lie. Here we go. Yeah, I love that.
thank you. And what a treat that was <laughs> to be able to hear it and enjoy it. Um, we'll just call the other a preface. Uh, control soloist Liz is in her, you've just completed your third year. She's going into fourth year, fourth year. And so at this time, Liz, if you could share a little bit about your journey at the seminary and what you anticipate is coming your way and maybe a little bit about your internship for those who aren't familiar with where you are in your process. Sure. So I am in my fourth year of schooling, which means I have started to come to the point where I am in internships. I am doing a clergy internship at Temple Akiba of Culver City under the wonderful wings of Cantor Lonnie Freilich, and I love every minute of what I'm learning there. And I'm so excited for my classes this semester, and I just am enjoying whom I am becoming on this journey through Cantorial School. And I am thrilled to be able to spend Shabbat with all of you this evening, because this community is so lovely, this Kahila Kadosha, this holy community. I just love to be here with Randy every chance I can. It is our pleasure. I will speak for myself and for the congregation, wanting you to know what a blessing it is for us to welcome you into our presence once again. This is quite a Shabbat. It is Shabbat to Be'av, Shabbat Nachamu, and Shabbat Va'echanan. To Be'av is the 15th of the month of Av. And in modern day Israel, it is celebrated as the holiday of love. Chag Ha'ahava is similar to Valentine's Day. It's been said to be a great day for weddings. Shabbat Nachamu meaning console, continues the hope following the mournful Tisha B'Av. And Shabbat, Ayat Hanan, marks this week's Torah portion. As we all mute, I'm going to ask you to take about a minute to make the transition from getting here to being here. 60 seconds of silence to be attuned to our hearts, minds, and our spirits. Following from the Gates of Shabbat by Wilfred A. Patterson, Slow Me Down, God. Slow me down, God, ease the pounding of my heart by the quieting of my mind. Steady my hurried pace with the vision of the eternal reach of time. Give me, amidst the chaos of my day, the calmness of the everlasting hills. Break the tensions of my nerves and muscles with the soothing music of singing streams that live in my memory. Help me to know the magical restoring power of slowing down, to gaze at a flower, to chat with a friend, to pat a dog, to read a few lines from a good book. Slow me down, God, and inspire me to send my roots deep into the soil of life's enduring values that I may grow upward toward the stars of greater destiny. Amen. We have a Sheikh Yanu. I was made aware of something special in the life of one of our congregants. And it was two months ago yesterday. For those of you who were here last week, you may have heard a little bit about it. And that is Juan Morial. Juan had a serious stroke two years, two, excuse me, two, two months ago. I had the pleasure of visiting him two days after that, not knowing what to expect. And I tell you, he is a walking, talking miracle. 
And the reason um, I would like to have a check Yanu is he returned to work yesterday. Two weeks ago yesterday, he couldn't speak. He couldn't walk. I don't know about your movement, but it was an incredibly arduous time. And he has worked so hard with the physical therapy, speech therapy, and the love and support of those around him. And so Dr. Juan Moriel, we will be doing the Shekianu together. And even though we'll all be muted except for uh, Intro Solis Liz, this is for you, my friend. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehecheanu Vekimanu Vehigianu Lazman Hazeh Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Right. What a wonderful way to begin the service. And for all of Liz will be leading us in the candle blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech Olam Asher kiddushanu v'mitzvotav v'tzivanu Lehadlik ner, lehadlik ner, shel shabbat. Oh, Randy, we want to hear you say the kiddush. Maybe you don't. <laughs> I can see everyone, but I cannot see the screen. So uh, if you all just uh, talk amongst yourselves, well, you can't really talk amongst yourselves unless you send a chat, but I can't see the screen and I don't want to mess up. So Ryan, I'm going to need you to come over here for just a minute. Okay, <laughs> that's Ryan's thumb. Okay, he says that I'm going to be able to see it. If not, uh, Liz, I'm going to ask you to, to do this. I'll hold the cup. If, 
I don't see. There it is. Okay. You happen to have a cup with you? Um, with the fruit of the vine, I encourage you to join me. Eloheinu melech haolam, borei pri hagafen. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'ratzavanu. Shabbat kotsho, v'avah uberatzon, im kilanu. Zikaron lemase v'reishit. Yihu yom kachila, b'mikra nekodesh, zecher l'tziat mitzrayim. Anu v'achata, v'yotanu kidashta, mikol hamim. Shabbat kod shecha, A poem entitled, entitled, Come Beloved, by Alden Solomon. If you listen, listen. If you listen, you will hear Shabbat descend from her distant place. Gently, clearing the air of the steady bu buzz of the mundane, gently inviting you to stillness, gently preparing the space for the arrival of holiness. If you listen, listen. If you listen, you will hear the arrival of the luminous wonder, a radiance of glory that touches your heart so that love pulses through your veins. The gates of your soul burst open. You run through them, skipping, singing, maher, ahav. Hurry, beloved. How long since your hands touched mine? How long since your lips brushed these tired eyes? How long since I rested in you? Kiva moe. For the time has come, the time has come to reunite and tears of surrender, shimmering with the taste of honey, will pour through you like grace from God's eternal well. Choneni kime olam, heart's delight, if you listen, listen, listen. The service continues with Shalom Alechem. Peace to you, O ministering angels.
we rise in body or spirit as we join together for the Chatzi Kaddish, the half Kaddish, the, the marker of our change in our service section. Yit Kadal, Yit Kadash, Merabba, Velma di Brahirute, Vamlich Malhute, Behaye Hon, Uvio Mehon, Uvhae de Hobet Israel, Bagala, Bagala, Uvisman Karif, Vimeru. Amen. Yehesh me rabba me vorach, leala mulal me almaya, it barach, it barach, vishtabach, vid paar, vid romam, vid nase, vid adar, vid ale, vid halal, shme de kurashav rihu. Le la min kobir hata ve shirata tush bechata ve nechemata da miran be alma ve imeru amen. I call to worship the Baruchu. mentioned earlier, by Echanan, meaning I just thought, is this week's Torah portion? Rabbi Rachel Berenblatt shares the following poem entitled Image, that will be shared with us by Carol Johnson. We're made in the image and the likeness, which means we're chips off the God block. Damut, likeness, sounds related to dumb, blood, as though God's DNA existed in our bodies. Though the etymology doesn't hold up, still maybe it's the God in us that lets us form. Clay into vessels, wood into houses, words into language, but we need to take care, not to worship the structures we build, not to confuse our various capabilities with the real source of creative power lest the land spits us out and our God consigns us to never remembering that something out there greater than the work of our limited hands. Thank you, Carol. We continue with Bringer of Evening, the Ma'ariv Aravi. Aruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher bidvaro ma'ariv aravi, ochma poteach she'arim, vitvuna mishane itim, machalif et hazmanim, msader et hakochavim, amishmerotehem arakia kirtzono. Re yom valila, 
Golel or Mikne Hoshech, Hoshech Mikne. Uma Vir Yom, Uma Vir Laila, Uma Vir Bain Yom, Bain Laila, at a nine Sala Ocham. El Chai Vakayam, Tami Imloch Alenu Leolamba Ed, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama Ariv, or Ravi. As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear, teach me Torah too. Its mystery beckon, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me. Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the, minister, the mystery. Baruch Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Everlasting love, Ahavat Olam. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Watchword of Judaism, the Shema. They will be leading the Be'ahavta. Everybody, please chant with me. 
Curly. My pleasure. Who is like you? Michal Mocha. Is a place to rest. Ashkibin.
children of Israel shall keep Shabbat. This shall be. So let's Liz catch your breath for just a moment. We encourage you to rise as you are able in your spirit or physically. You're welcome to do that as well for the Amida, the standing prayers. Adonai Sefatai. Adonai Sefatai Tiftach Ufi Agitehilatecha Adonai Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu, Elohe avoteinu veimoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leha, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibur vehanora, El Elyon. Gomel chasadim tovim, vekone hakol, vezocher chaste ahavot veimahot, ume viula lif nevenehem, le maan shemo veahava, melech ozer umoshia umagain, baruch atadonai. Magin Avraham Vezrat Sarah Atagi Vur Leolam Adonai Mechaye Hakolata Rav Lehoshia Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed Mechaye Hakol Bera 
Chachamim Rabim, Somech Noflim, Verofe Cholim, Umatir Asurim, Umekayem Emunato, Lishene Afar, Micha Mocha Baal Givurot, Umidom Melech me mi tu mechaye, u mats mi ach yeshua, mne mana ta lechachayot ha kol, adonai, mechaye ha kol. Ata kadosh, vishim ha kadosh, ugroshim bechoyom, ye halleluha sela. Baruch ata donai, ha el ha kadosh. We spend a few moments, even minutes, in silent reflection. You tune to your own hearts, minds, and souls. This will continue with Yihiu Le Ratzon, May the Words by Josh Nelson.
beautiful segue into remembering those among us, those that are in our hearts, our minds, and our souls. We're holding near and dear this time. I share Inviting Healing by Aldrin Solovey in his book entitled Jewish Prayers of Hope and Healing. Radiance and awe, splendor and wonder, the energy of being surrounds me, flowing day by day from the holy realms. Let us invite these gifts of holiness into our hands, into our bodies, into the core of our being. Let us invite the energy of life into our limbs, into our chests, into our hearts. Let us invite this well of healing into our breath, into our blood, into our spirit. Healer and guide, you have blessed us with life. Days of hope and yearning, bless us with your healing power. Lead us back to lives of wholeness and peace. Let us say. The names on our congregational Mishabarak list include the following. Please feel free to share others in the chat box. Or at the conclusion of the reading of the names, if you'd like to do so aloud, feel free to do that as well. Jonathan Davidson, Ben Henderson, Kara Gilman, Rabbi Steve Robbins, Gloria Mangies, Steve Lux, Leslie Ferris, Pamela Mangis, Johnny Sikat, Roberta Gershon, Bill Oppenheim, Sid Love, Larry Miller, Gina Richards, Judy Cronenfeld, Myrna Pavalak, Jeff Simons, Esperanza Muriel, Rabbi Annette Koch, Arav Hana Rachel Bat Rosa Bevof, Kim Ko, Paul Camacho, Stephen Strauss. The names that you have listed. Ruth and Sandra Landis, Jess Landis, Mary Keller, Louise Berndt, Patty Podner, Juan Jones, E. Peter Thorne, Robert Engel, Healing for Marsha Field, June Carpenter, Jan Archibek, Kristen Walsh, Rabbi Ann Brenner, Amy Morton, Bob and Gail Coach, Francine Hoffman. There are others that haven't been mentioned in the chat box or by myself. Please feel free to unmute and share those with us. Bella Glossman, Jeff Simon. Joined together in singing, and for Lisa Levine's Lisa Barrow.
to those for whom healing is not possible. May they be surrounded by peace and comfort and love of those that they hold near and dear, and those that are held near and dear. I always like to begin with a joke or tongue-in-cheek humor. This is from Jularius. And whether or not you laugh, I don't hear it. So if it's a groaner, you can, <laughs> you can give me the thumbs down or, or some, uh, some way. Uh, let me know that that was not okay. Anyway, a man was driving down a country lane when he spotted the most beautiful horse he'd ever laid eyes on. He was straddling in the middle of a field. He slammed on his brakes and stopped to take a quick look. I must buy that horse, he said to himself, and immediately went in search of the owner. Arriving in a nearby farmhouse, he knocked on the door. Are you the owner of that magnificent animal in the field back here? He asked. Yes, replied the farmer, an elderly Jewish man named Moshe. Then I simply must buy him from you, he replied. I can't sell him, said Moshe, the farmer. He doesn't look too good. What do you mean? He's the most beautiful horse I've ever laid eyes on, please. Well, okay, conceded Moisha, the farmer. If you insist, does a thousand dollars sound reasonable to you? Absolutely, exclaimed the man. And he took the horse home on a trailer. A few days later, there was a knock on Moisha's door. It was the man with the horse. You ripped me off, yelled the man. That horse can't tell the forest from the, pre the trees. Moisha answered, I tried to warn you. I told you, he doesn't look too good. A bon bon. This week's Torah portion is Parshat Ba'etchanan. Ba'etchanan is the first word of Devarim, De or Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 23. In Hebrew, Ba'etchanan means I pleaded or I besought. Here, Moses makes a plea to God about entering the promised land. As most of us know, Moses' attempt to beseech God was rejected. The next few chapters admonish the Israelites for the reasons they are to follow God's laws. Moshe then reminds them of the origin of these statutes and what these laws they are to follow. God's breach or covenant was revealed at Mount Horeb. Is these words from Exodus chapter 20, verses 2 through 14, Moses repeats to the people. You may recall they are known in Hebrew as Aseret Hadibrot, the Decalogue or the Ten Commandments. The following two, two chapters show how the Israelites are to follow these laws. This is a call to love the one and only God, a call to absolute loyalty to Israel's God, the demand to future generations about the laws and the prohibitions against the inhabitants of the land they will conquer. Bayat Hanan contains some of the most wildly, widely recognized verses in the Hebrew Bible for Jews. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4 through 9, includes the Shema and what are known as her blessings, the Be'ahavta. Moses commands the Israelites, you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Rashi, the biblical commentator of the Middle Ages, observes, with all your heart means that we should serve God with all our powers for goodness, compassion, and charity, as well as our powers of compassion, success, and physical strength. With all your soul means we should be ready to give our lives for the principles of our faith. With all your might means we should be willing to use our resources to perform acts of charity that promote the survival of our people. Samuel David Zotto comments, those who set God before them and are exclusively concerned with doing God's commandments will be called lovers of God. Rashi maintains lovers of God view the commandments of Torah as always relevant and challenging to their times. Not too surprisingly, Jewish commentaries continue to struggle with deciphering Moses' commandments to the Israelites, you shall love Adonai your God. Commentator Harry Fields notes, they fail to recognize that love is not static. Love is dynamic. It evolves and grows and matures. The love expressed by a child is not the same felt by a young adult or the combination. 
of that of a senior, filled with life's experience. Love is many things, respect, knowledge, loyalty, caring, and mercy. It is in taking care of the less fortunate in the pursuit of justice and the nurturing of others in the warmth of an embrace and the passion shared by human beings. The prayer before the Shema in each service talks about the experience of being loved, a prerequisite for being able to give and heed pay attention. That prayer just after the Shema, the Ve'ah Hafta, says not knowing or no, excuse me, now knowing the oneness of God, teach this to your children and remain connected to this awareness throughout your day. Marge Piercy shares an updated version of the Vihafta. It too focuses on love or unconditional positive regard. So shall you love what is holy with all your courage, with all your passion, with all your strength. Let the words that have come down shine in our words and our actions. We must teach our children to know and understand them. We must speak about what is good and holy within our homes, when we are working and we are, when we are at play, when we lie down and when we get up. Let the work of our hands speak of goodness. Let it run in our blood and glow from doors and windows. We should love ourselves, for we are of God. We should love our neighbors as ourselves. We should love the strangers, for we were once strangers in the land of Egypt and have been strangers in all the lands of the world since. Let love fill our hearts with its clear, precious water. Heaven and earth observe how we cherish or spoil our world. Heaven and earth notice whether we choose life or we choose death. We choose life so our children's children may live. Be quiet and pay heed to the still small voice within that speaks in love. Open to that voice, heed it and work for your life. Let us remember to strive to be good. Let us remember to find what is holy within and without. As we all reemerge from the pandemic, some at a snail's pace and some at warp speed, Jewish life cycle events of births and baby namings confirmation, bar and bat mitzvahs, weddings and funerals. We are aware of in-person losses. We're also aware that we have reasons to celebrate the essence of Shabbat as joy. Members and friends of Temple Beth El, in the midst of our loss, we have also reason to celebrate with Shabbat joy. Tonight's service is just an example of that. In the words of Marge Piercy, we are learning and relearning to love what is holy with all our courage, with all our passion, and with all our strength. The past 16 months have been especially painful for us, individually and collectively. We have survived and some have died. This last year has brought moments of sheer delight. Some have discovered Judaism as their spiritual center. Families have welcomed little ones. Birthdays and anniversaries have been honored via Zoom and increasingly in person with loved ones. We have lost congregants, family members and friends. We have also welcomed new congregants, new members and new friends. Temple Bethel, house of God. We have experienced the ebb and flow of life. We have known happiness and sorrow, plenty and want, victory and tragedy. That the nation Yisrael, and Timex, like our congregation and humanity, take a licking and keep on ticking. That in itself is testimony to the commitment, the dedication, the determination, and the fortitude of a core group of people. As you may recall, American Sign Language uses heed or pay attention when communicating the words to the Shema. Doug Cutler reminds us of these ancient words in the song entitled, Listen. Please excuse the pause as I put on a pair of gloves.
Brian is about 10 feet from me and he just asked me if I hear it. Shook my hand. So we're gonna pause for another moment of uh, technological know-how and see if we can make that happen. Listen to our God Is there a question on your mind? Is the answer hard to find? Then listen, listen to our God Listen with all your heart and soul And with all your mind Write them and learn them and teach them well Every morning and night Close your eyes And listen Quiet yourself, there's nothing to say Stop all the chatter When the wind and the thunder finally disappear, there's still a voice that you will hear if you listen, listen to our God. You can hear it from the top of the highest hill, from the valley below. It can come from the edge of the In case I, I didn't make it clear, um, instead of signing here or listen, pay attention. This is what I would do with my students so that I could make sure that they were focused on me. 
That is what Adonai asks of us, is to pay attention. Hello, I'm here. Are you there? We continue with uh, some announcements. And um, that would be a week from tonight, there is going to be a hybrid service. So if you're interested in participating in that in person, please make sure that you send the office or via email or a telephone call the names of those who will be participating. And uh, just a reminder that it will be in person and we will also be masked as well as social distance. And the hybrid part of it will be that those of us who will be watching on Zoom will also be able to participate that way. So I don't know if there are any other announcements. Um, Eileen, are, or have you been given any indication how many barrels will be coming our way in the next uh, month to six weeks for the Okay, because the high holiday services are also going to be hybrid, I'm going to have a few boxes at the temple, not barrels. I'm, I'm not going out and buying barrels. So I'm getting some boxes and we will also be doing the, uh, the same as we did last year where I will send out a list of the places that we support and how to support them monetarily. So you can do either or both, whatever is, is your choice. Thank you. Carly, do you have any announcements about the youth group or anything that you'd like to bring to the fore while we're together? Or maybe you'd just like to say, hey. There you go. Now okay. you're unmuted. Um, hello. <laughs> No, I don't have any real announcements yet. The kids haven't really, we have to think about where we're going to, when we're going to meet and where we're going to be. Are we going to be um, out, outside? Are we going to be online? Uh, we had a wonderful year last year due to um, people who can cook. And we made all sorts of Jewish foods for each holiday. And the kids, cooked uh, Jessica Ridgway and Johanna uh, Covington brought bags of things to everybody's house and we cooked online. It was, it was really successful. So I don't know what we're going to do this year. I hope we can meet in person. We'll see. Thank you. Shirley, do you have a reminder for those of us who are gonna be chanting Torah when we're gonna be gathering and how that's gonna work out? Oh, that's a good point. Um, sometime, I think the, um, not the last week in August, but the, the, the week before the last week, probably the third week in August, I will be at the temple all day, a couple of days, and people will come. I'll set it all up for all of you uh, people who are there tonight that are going to read Torah on the holidays. We're going to do it in person, maybe a little bit online, but mostly in person. And the, what I got from the temple is you have to be vaccinated, but that's not a problem. So um, you will hear from me as to when we're gonna meet, probably that Tuesday and Wednesday, the third week in August. Thank you, Curly. I know that I put you on the spot, but I want oh, to- Oh, that's sure okay. That <laughs> well, I, well, I saw you next to me, but I, <laughs> I made sure to give you 30 that's seconds. Okay, okay. It gives me a chance to think about it, actually. I'd like to express my wholehearted appreciation to Control the Solace, Liz Baseman. We've had the pleasure of um, leading co-leading services together for a number of opportunities. We don't get to do this at seminary. <laughs> She's on a different team than I am. So this is our one opportunity to, to let it ring and let it shine. And I'm so delighted to be able to share her talents with you and also to have her parents with us. As I mentioned earlier, it was a delight to share a Shabbat dinner together last Friday. And then we went out to breakfast on Saturday with my brother and his wife. And uh, Carl was there as well. And uh, we just had a, we were hooting and hollering and acting like a bunch of yahoos. Well, I guess I was, but anyway, there were a couple of things that just busted us up. Um, please know that as those of us who are leading service, how grateful we are for each and every one of you who have attended the service. Uh, Carol, your participation in the service is meaningful as well as 
each of you. So I'd like you to know how very blessed we are by the gift of your presence this evening. Okay, do you have any simchas, anything that's happy, joyous, that you'd like to share for the good of the cause? Feel free to unmute and then mute following your sharing. And I'm gonna mute myself so that someone else can go ahead and share some goodness. Okay, well, how consistent we are. <laughs> Whether we're in person or on Zoom, <laughs> you know, I know that good things are happening. So uh, it's all right. Uh, you don't you don't feel uh, pressured into saying anything, but uh, your smiles are a delight to our souls. We're waiting for the Messiah, Randy. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, um, sooner or later, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, we will continue then. Um, I don't, if, if I missed anyone. Uh, I think, I think someone does want to speak. Hi. Would. Hello. Christine, please. Yes. Um, well, some really good news. And that is that um, my sister-in-law, Meg, her knee replacement has gone really well. It's so well that she and my brother are getting a puppy <laughs> so, because they'll be able to walk the puppy. <laughs> it's so great. Anyway, they're they're very happy, so I'm happy too. Thank you very much, Christine. Dr. Moriel, how was your second day at work? Oh yeah, I just wanted to share that on it. It's been really awesome to be back at work. I saw lots of patients are really happy to see me. Went really well, so I'm just happy to be back. Honestly, I've been blessed. I feel really good, ready to go back to work. I'll be pleased to hear it. He's been practicing his, uh, not his modern Hebrew or his biblical Hebrew, but his Espanol for the last week. He's- uh, really Everything, yeah. Hebrew, it, it, Hebrew it, it, all this, yeah, yeah. Spanish, <laughs> English. <laughs> so he's been, uh, he's been given his speech therapist a, a workout with the things that he's been. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Even with Hebrew too, actually. Yeah, there you go. All right. Well, once again, thank you one and all for joining us this evening. Our service will continue with the Alenu. We encourage you to rise as you're able. Let us now praise Liz will lead us. Aleinu leshabeach la adon hakol, la teit gedula leotze breshit. Shelo asanu kigoye ha aratzot, velo samanu kemishpachot ha adama. Shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vegor aleinu. Kehol hamonam, va anach nu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech, malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shehu no te shamayim ve yosed aharetz, u moshav yikaro ba shamayim imal, u shchina tuzo, u shchina tuzo, ve gov he meromim, hu eloheinu einod, emet malkeinu efezulato, kakatuv betorah, Vietata yom, the Hashivota, Eleva Vecha, Ki Adonai, who are Elohim, Basha Mayim, Mimal, the Alharets, the Alharets, Mitachat, Ain Od, Ain Od. Venemar ve haya donai la melech al kol haaretz bayom ahu bayom ahu iye adonai echad u 
ushema 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 Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss of life. Season of Sorrow by Alden Sullivan. This is my season of sorrow, a time when struggles recur and challenges arrive, a time of endings and distress. In this season, I've known moments of pain, moments of sadness, and moments of confusion. I've seen times of loss and times of grief, moments that have stripped me of wisdom and left me crushed and breathless, cold and in deepening shadow. Holy One, help me recall my seasons of joy, to recall with hope and praise your gifts and blessings, moments of laughter, moments of kindness, moments of peace, times of health, times of clarity, moments that lifted my spirit and comforted my heart. Rock and Redeemer, you are my comfort and my strength, my illumination. And my truth. In remembrance, there is life. We offer condolences to Stacy Alstead on the death of her father, David Philip Alstead. Are there others who recently passed and have not had a service, whether funeral or memorial service? Or those who are in Shiva? For seven days. Sloshim, Stan Wachman, brother of Ruth Landis, Aurel Altman, husband of Avi Altman. Those in the first year Julio Poveda, Jean Lester, Ozell Walton, Mardell Taylor, Denise Eliason, Julie Eliason. There are others who are still in the first year of your morning. If you could share those names by unmuting and then muting again. Yard sites listed for this Shabbat include Bruce Cardos, Jean, June Bauman Neal, Lillian Neff Ahrens, Matilda Stroman, Beverly Besson, Ann Fishman, Linda Lloyd, Duncan Faust, Hal Gilman, Esther Alice. Marks, Sadie Hoffman, Shell Bachman, Jack Reif, Charles Curtis, Regina Jacobs, Laura Tarmo, Marie Shevick, Ronald Reamer, Samuel Medler, and the following names that have been listed in our chat box. Eshi Glick, first year Sanford Victor, Pauline Gerlings, Alex Hewitt, and Sean. Brenda Oppenheim, If, if there are others, uh, my chat box is not working, so my apologies. Uh, if I haven't read a name or there's one that's come to mind, please feel free to unmute. There are two are joining together for the Mourners Crunch. 
Albert Archibek Jr. Thank you, Jan. Adisha Tom, Mourners Kaddish, we join together in solidarity of heart and mind and soul as we remember, as we remember the dear ones that we have lost, those who have gone before us but continue to remain within as the essence of their being. Eat Gadal, beat Kadash, Yelma, Dibrach, Yote, Yalik, the Chayachon, Yomechon, the Chay, the Hope Bay Israel, the Lap of his mind, the Lap of his mind, the Shme Raba, the Lame of Maya. Eat Barak, we want and all be comforted the source of peace as well as that of the community in which we live and breathe and have our being. For the concluding song, Liz is going to share, Give Yourself to Love, and she may have a few words um, about that song. It's not one that I had heard prior to our rehearsal, so I'm going to ask if she could go ahead and unmute, and I will mute and let you enjoy having her on this virtual beam. So we, we heard so much today about love and trust and respect and all of the things that are included in the word love and how we think about love and how we interact with each other. But there are times when it's not always easy to love the other. And there are times when we need to remember that it is upon us, Alenu, to give ourselves to love in order to share love with others and to be loved. And this is one of my favorite songs about love and I wanted to share it with all of you this evening. Kind friends all gathered round There's something I would say brings us together here has blessed us all today. Love has made a circle that holds us all inside. Strangers are as family and loneliness can't hide. You must give yourself to
Thank you so very much. All right, it is time for Motsi. I've got a big old honk and loaf here. Hamotzi lechem in haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices tries in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. Hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Amen. The holy is circling the wagons <laughs> as closely as I can. <laughs> We're going to see a magic trick. This hala is going to appear on another screen. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> now, just look at that. How did they A little do bit of Shabbos magic for all of us. <laughs> all right. Please know how very grateful we are that you have welcomed Shabbat with us. Feel free to unmute, greet one another. Say Shabbat Shalom. How's by you? Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Brady. Very nice. Beautiful service. Nice You're so welcome. I'm going to say goodbye early because Gavin's playing and I want to see if I can still catch part of the game. Okay. You're a good grandma. <laughs> so, right. so, bye, guys. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Have a good, safe, safe week. Say bye. Uh, have a lovely week, everyone. Say bye. 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 Have a good week, everyone. Hello. Thank you for your beautiful service. Oh, oh that Bye, Gazunt, everyone. And Rosa was live. Shabbat Shalom. It's been such a joy to share this service with you all. Shabbat Shalom. Susan, please greet Bernie if you would. And Gail, thank you for joining us. Yeah, <laughs> I had a great time. I'm awfully glad to hear that. <laughs> so, what a delight to have you here. Ken and Debbie, each and every time we are able to share the screen or be in person. You know, this was one of the first times that we've, we've done anything in person uh, by driving up to the Central Coast and enjoying the pleasure of the company. So appreciated that a lot. Harvey, thank you so much for your support that you continue to provide. And Ruth, you are just a joy. Lila, your kindness is ever present as well as that for Marie. Okay, anyone else want to share anything for the good of the cause before uh, Ryan bids this adieu? All right, then Shabbat Shalom.